It's been a long time coming, but now the time has finally come. The new Tykeables Puppers is here. I introduced them to you in Diaper News episode 12 about 9 months ago. Unfortunately, for some time they were not available from any store at reasonable prices and shipping costs, but that only changed a few weeks ago. The pack looks like it's easy to open, that didn't really work very well, so it's better to cut it open carefully with scissors. It is also colorfully printed, as is now the case with almost all new diapers, the transparent packaging seems to be out. Tykeables stands out with a kind of viewing window that shows part of the diapers inside. Both have been given a new design, the manufacturer has recently redesigned several models. The diaper already feels quite thick when you unpack it. This should come as no surprise to anyone who knows the manufacturer, it is known for its extra wide cut and is aimed at ABDLs who place great importance on safety. Externally, the color scheme has changed, the striking yellow and orange background on the adhesive surface has disappeared. Instead, the motifs have a matching background, such as the large flame of the fire department. The blue tone and the paws at the back of the sides are striking. There is now a large, colorful motif in the middle that goes well with the blue frame. The small hydrants have remained in between. They are a hidden wetness indicator and disappear when the diaper fills up. Cleverly and lovingly made, it reminds me of the little paws from Abu. They are offered in packs of 10 with a theoretical suction capacity of 7,500 milliliters. Sizes medium, large and extra large are available, small also leaves out tykeables. At €28.90 per pack, a single diaper costs €2.89 and is therefore only slightly above the average of all previous tests. On the outside, of course, it uses foil, which according to my survey the vast majority of ABDLs prefer. I can absolutely understand this, especially with tykeables, their foil is very soft, I find it particularly comfortable and it looks sturdy. It is closed with Velcro, only with its sister brand NRU does the company use foil adhesives, but they can still all be closed several times. Is it worth ordering the new tykeables diapers? I have worn a pack in everyday life, they fit well to the body and you have a clear feeling of being well and securely wrapped up. The Velcro fasteners can be re-fastened as often as you like, but disposing of them is a little more complicated than with plastic ones. Here you can see the diaper from behind when it is put on. The weight confirms my impression, 244 grams is impressive and well above the average from the practical tests. That's 1 gram more than NRU Tinimals, so the two are comparable. It is therefore guaranteed a place on the top list of the currently thickest ABDL diapers. I am very satisfied with the fit and comfort. Everyday use pose no challenges. Regardless of whether you put smaller amounts in more often or fewer larger ones, everything is absorbed, even quite quickly. Due to its thickness, it is hardly noticeable at first that it has become wet, you get used to it over time. There were no accidents, nothing ever spilled prematurely with the entire pack. But at some point, even the best diaper reaches its limits, this one weighed almost 2.3 kilograms until it wet the pants over it. This is also a clearly above average result, as can only be expected from the thickest ABDL diapers. In the picture you can also see what the hydrants look like with a full diaper, they dissolve over time the fuller it gets. At the end you can only see slight red puddles, the motif itself is no longer recognizable. There are few that can top this in terms of suction power. For example, the Little Rascals V2 with 2.4 kg or the Tykeables Overnights from the same manufacturer with a slightly better result. The previously mentioned NRU was also slightly better, but at €3.09 per piece, it is a good deal more expensive. In addition, the adhesive surface is positioned too far down, which should not happen with a diaper in this price range and which I have not seen with any other diaper so far. The Tykeables Overnight costs exactly the same as this one. As they differ only minimally in terms of absorbency, it is purely a question of taste as to which one you like better. The Little Rascals V2 is a different story, it has lasted longer and costs less at €2.69 per diaper. The film also feels good there. However, Tykeables manages to make it a little softer in a way that I have never seen from any other manufacturer. It looks higher quality. However, I wouldn't conclude from this that other diapers are bad. I also find the Little Rascals V2 pleasant, just like Abu Tiny Tails, Kiddo Lil Soaker, Rear Safari and many others. Tykeables does it differently and does it differently well. The diaper should be interesting for puppies and anyone who likes puppies and dogs in general. In terms of design, the Abu Tiny Tails could be an alternative, 
although at 3 euros and 70 cents it is much more expensive than Tykables. In addition, Abu sells them exclusively in their own stores and I find the wetness indicator lovelessly implemented. It looks like it was copied from a medical diaper and inserted into the ABDL diaper. The Tykables can do this better, just like others from Abu such as the Little Paws. If you don't need such high absorbency and the design is of secondary importance, there is a whole range of cheaper alternatives. Rears, for example, has the Safari diaper, which is also relatively soft to the touch. Not quite as soft as Tykables, but still comfortable and perfectly adequate as an everyday diaper. At around €2.33 each, it costs significantly less than all the others I have previously mentioned. It's debatable whether the new design of the Tykables puppers is better than the old one. What I don't like about it is that there are no versions, as with other diapers. Tykables now has two identical diapers with identical names that you can't tell apart. Who comes up with something so confusing? That's why I call the new one V2 in brackets, so you can see it's an unofficial name. What do you think about the diaper? You can write it in the comments and discuss it. If you are interested in diaper tests and other ABDL related topics, please subscribe to the channel. Stay dry, see you next time.